Okay, good morning and welcome to Ion HaMishnayos. Today's Mishnayos is Shviyas Paragimel, Mishnayos Aleph and Bez. Mishna Aleph uh, makes clear that even though normally you're not allowed to manure a field or fertilize a field during Shemitah, um, some say it's their abundance, some say it's an avoda del Raisa. The Ram seems to imply over here in the parish Mishnayos it's del Raisa, it's also in a Torah. If you're not doing it, to, you're taking your garbage out, right? You have a lot of garbage in your house. And obviously there are some things which are good for fertilization, dirt, dirty stuff. I don't know, diapers maybe. I don't know, it would be good for fertilization. Um, it would actually help the plants to grow. Now, your kavana is not to grow your plant. You just need a place to put your garbage. So the the first Mishnah says that as long as it doesn't look like you're doing it for Zevel, there's no marazayan. Uh, when people stop, so when, at the point of time when people over at Vero and people who don't listen to Allah uh, stop working their field, stop uh, stop plowing their field uh, during Shemitah year, the beginning of Shemitah year, after that time period is over, you can go out and throw the garbages out. I'll give you the explanation. My explanation over here is that it's because it's, uh, even though it's going to be Mazava, even though it's going to fertilize your field naturally, um, even after this time, and it should be a seek ratio. Uh, seek ratio is something which is for sure going to happen. Um, according to one of the opinions, right, Mayor Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yossi, the main opinion noteworthy over here is Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda is one of the opinions. Rabbi Yehuda says that a darushim is common as Oster. Most of the Shonim learn that it means they're I mean, if it's a seek ratio, if something's going to happen for sure, you don't care about it, or you're not mechavin for it. You don't have in mind to do that. So darushim is common. I'm Taking out the garbage so that's out of my house, not that I should fertilize my field. It's also it's also the rabbanon. So it's the rabbanon. So therefore, there are goes there when there's a problem with marasai when it looks like that, and they weren't goes there. The rabbanon when it doesn't look like that. But you see, in Mishnah Beis, we have an interesting shita. Mishnah Beis tells you how much garbage you have to take out. Rabbi Shimon at the end says, "Omer afal ashpasos." There's no limit, basically. Rabbi Shimon says there's no limit. So. Tanakama presumably is the same authors of the first Mishnah, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Yehuda. They say there is a limit. And Rabbi Shimon says there is no limit. So I would understand this. The reason Rabbi Shimon is saying there's no limit to how much garbage you can take out. Because Shimon the whole argues on, on Rabbi Yehuda. He holds Darvish is his mutter. So as long as it's a psik reisha, even if it's for sure going to happen, it's going to cause to fertilize your field. Darvish and Miskav, psik reisha, delo ikhbasle. He doesn't care about the Nikhale and, and the Rishonim and Sagh Shabbos say that's mutter according to Rabbi Shimon. According to Yehuda, it's still Asr the Rabbana. So, therefore, according to Rabbi Yehuda, if you took too much garbage out, even if it's the time after the people stop working the field, it still be a problem with Marasai because it really looks like you're fertilizing your field. Because uh, Darvish Shimon's Kavan is the Rabbana. According to Shimon, there's nothing to talk about. Darvish Shimon's Kavan is mutter, Torah, and Mid Rabbana. So, there's no problem with Marasai. Uh, even if you take out tons of garbage over there, that would be the explanation why Roshimah wouldn't be Gozer and the Rabbana or Rabbi Yehuda would be Gozer over here by the Roshimah and Skavin and put a limit on how much garbage because there would still be a problem with Marisai. And I hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in Shulchan Arachiyomi. A new share I give in the afternoons. You don't want to miss it. Bye.